Hello, today I'm gonna change the tire on my unicycle because yesterday I popped it. So, as an instructional video, uh, to change the tire you need tools such as tire levers, a wrench, spare tube, and a new tire. Today we're gonna change both the inner and the outer tire. Okay, let's go. <coughs> let's do speed run, eh? And also a pump. Right. Ooh, it's a it's a tight spot to to turn this bolt. And I don't have a smaller wrench for it. Too bad. Alright. Put this aside. Is it in the frame? Here, yep. It is. And a second. Oh. Tire pops off. Okay, and here we go. Tire lever. Put it in between the outer tube and the rim. And then just keep doing like pry it apart. And the outer tire would just pop off. This you don't need you don't need to use the tool anymore once the tire is out. Okay. Put the tie off. Got the tie off and the tube. Both are useless now because they both are damaged. Okay, let's go. We got the spare tire. Okay, and then first, let's see, let's see which side was it again. Okay, this side, so the wheel will rotate like this. It will rotate clockwise in a clockwise direction, okay. And on the tire, there should be a a direction arrow indicating where you should how you should mount the tire because most tires are only works one side but apparently this one doesn't have an arrow hmm, interesting well who cares i'm not gonna cry in the rain with this so clockwise and it's gonna be mounted like this all right <coughs> we pop the lid i mean the lip like this one-sided and then get the tube take off the cover get a pump pump it a bit a little bit so that it is inflated. Easy. Yeah. Okay. You gotta 
good tube here. Okay, find the <coughs> I'm gonna find the tube hole. It's gonna be like gonna be like this and then just put it put the tube, I mean the stem into the hole like this. I mean put the stem first, yeah, yeah, yeah before you put in the, the tube. There we have it. So this part we have to be careful and try not to pinch the tube with the rim or else it might pop. Okay, so exercise caution in this in this part of the process. So you just gotta feed the tube in between the rim and the outer tire. Like so usually we do one one side halfway and then we finish with the other side so that the tube would be balanced, you know. There's not too much <coughs> stretch on the on one side. Okay, we got it. We got it inside. Good. Make sure the stem is make sure the stem is uh, ninety degrees so that we know that the tube is uh, not stretched to one side. Okay. All right, we're done. And then carefully close the close the bead of the tire. So usually I'm gonna st I like to start at the tube side and then slowly push it in. It's gonna take a little bit of effort, but it's nothing too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, you gotta make sure the tube is straight. Okay, you got it in. Check if the tube is pinch in between the tire and the rim just to make sure <laughs> before I inflate it because that can happen and it will pop the tire okay this side is good this side is also good hmm ah, interesting seems like this side is missing a tube tip the rim tip I think Oh no, I don't know what to do with that. Eh, whatever. You can just change it. Okay. Now take your pump and just pump the tire. Engaging with the valve for some reason. Is the valve even inside there? Is it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a good tube. There's no problem with it. For some reason, my pump doesn't engage with the with the valve inside. That's so weird. Alright, we're back. 
Man, I hate straight the valve. Prepare the road bike press the valve. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So when you're pumping like this on a fresh tire, you make sure that the bead and the tube is in the correct position. I mean, the tire is not. It's not. I mean, it's not too deep in in one side. You know, because like the rim and the bead must be on the same position for the whole tire. So you gotta stretch it a bit like this. Make sure the bead is touching the rim, not the side wall of the tire. Okay, pump it a little more. And then we check. It's good. This side is good. Ah, this side is a little bit too deep inside. Okay. Okay, this side is good. See, see what I mean? The side wall is touching the rim. We do not want that. We want the tire bit to touch the rim. So we stretch it out. Pull it out. Okay, like this. Yeah. And then keep pumping. Okay. You can just go by feel or use a pressure gauge. I'm just gonna go by feel. There we have it. Make sure. Look at the tire, inspect it again. Make sure everything's fine. There's no bulges or bumps. Or an even bead place placement, I guess. I guess that's what they call it. Yeah. And just you just stretch it. Gonna be a, you're gonna use a little bit of elbow grease, but it's not that hard. Okay, we have it. Let's see. Yeah, we good. Oh, okay, this side need a little bit more of stretching. Alright, we good. There we have it, the tire. This, this feels like a cooking show for some reason. A touch of olive oil, just a touch. Let's see which way is forward, this way. Okay. Yeah, I think this part is a bit tricky. Gotta rest it like that. And then put the nut here. I mean put the screw there. Or bolt rather. And nut here. Finger tight for now. We're gonna finish it with the wrench. Okay, the other side. It's the bolt, by the way. It's really small bolt.
Now, when tightening something like a bearing, make sure you tighten it little by little on each side so that the load is balanced. Yeah, it spins. That means the bearing is not tight, not too tight. Yeah, you don't want it to pinch the bearing too much. A unicycle tire change, yeah, and it spins. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Hang on, thumbnail moment. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> see ya.